a great Cheltenham Festival. And they've gone off, I would say, faster than any other team. Just to remind you, Ben Pauling in red, Pete Mason leading in white, Dougie Gittings in yellow, and William Grant in green. And they're already over the first two, the second being Richard Strong's fence. But up now to the Environmental Energies Energizer. Pete Mason in front on Philip in the white for this relentless team, team number four. Dougie Gittings in the yellow is in second place. Over the first five, just turning right-handed to the Acton Brewery Pint Pot. And they seem to be going, by our reckoning, a bit quicker than the others thus far. They head off to fence number seven, which is the NFU Mutual Safe Landing. These two fences here scored problems in the past. They've got the nailers on top drop, a big drop fence here. First two over it. Now three and four. Down to the Fisher German Flyer. This drop sloping palisade. They're not hanging about here. Love it. Well, all four into the Ken Bailey pen now out over fence 11. So going up now to 12, the Goring greeting over that left-handed to Lawyer's Leap before turning left-handed again to jump the King West conundrum. Back towards us, ladies and gentlemen, this is fence 14 at around the halfway point, and not too many pulls have been taken on this track. As they jump that and then come, they have to swing right-handed to Dylan's Delight, the John Dylan-sponsored fence. Leader pops that, gets a tight close to it, jumps it nevertheless, and now three and four of it. Now the Material Change Championship Challenge, our feature fence 16 and 17, the angled logs. This team really going very quickly, jumping them at the tightest of angles and down to the champagne moment the sloping palisade before turning left-handed into the rail of the Welland Valley feature followed by the Sharford Tractors Honda Splash. So this team we think Pete Mason and Dougie Gittings coming to it now over the first of those quickly left-handed over fence 23 the material change recycle we reckon probably about five seconds ahead of uh, the second team that went all through Corner. So now going to the town and country teaser. Big stand off there by the third rider as they jump that and go to the quintessential quality fence 26. Over that. Left handed. Uh, Dougie getting still in front as they come to the penultimate, the energy question. So I'm sure they'll let them down now as his these dual champion winners, remember winners in 2008 and 2010, they certainly put up a performance to